In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a watermark in Adobe Premiere. Watermarks are the embedded visible images that are used to identify that a particular image or video belongs to a certain company. The watermark can be a copyright statement or even a logo. We will be adding a watermark to this video over here. So first of all, let's move to the Media Library, right-click on the empty space, and select the Import option from the menu. With that done, let's import the artwork that will be used as a watermark. In our case, we will open up this Photoshop file over here. Notice that the image has a transparent background. That is very important if you want to import only the logo. Otherwise, the background color will also be imported, and the logo will appear within a box on the screen. Let's change the name over here to ABC Production, save the document, and move back to the Import window. Simply select the file and click on Open to import the document. With that done, a dialog box will appear, asking whether you want to import this composition as a single layer or want to import each individual layer. For this tutorial, we will merge all the layers, since we want a single image on the screen. Once done, let's drag and drop the Photoshop file on the overlay track. With that done, let's stretch the layer to the same length as video 1. Now you can see the logo appearing throughout the duration of the video. Let's transform the watermark layer and resize it according to the frame. Once done, move to the Effect Control Panel and apply the Tint Video Effect to the layer. You can configure the amount of tint according to your requirements. This effect will desaturate the layer, but you can still mix some color from the original image by reducing the amount of tint from the Effect Control Panel. For this tutorial, let's keep the value to 100%. For the watermark, you can choose to put the original logo as it is, or add different effects to it. For example, over here we will add the Emboss Effect to our logo. Once done, let's reduce the opacity to 50% so that the image becomes transparent. You can position the image wherever you want on the screen, but it is important to choose a prominent position. Therefore, we have placed the logo in the middle of the screen. With that done, let's render the sequence and preview the output. And over here, you can see that we have successfully added a watermark to this video clip in Adobe Premiere. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.